Hey, hey, my crafty friends. Welcome to Ivy and Juke Creations. My name is Kim, and I'm so glad you decided to spend some of your time with me today. Today, we're going to take this truck from the Dollar Tree. It was $5, and it was in the plus section. It has a bottle brush tree in it, painted to look like a carrot. I got it back in the springtime. Then we're going to take my lemon pliers, and we're going to untwist the wire that's in the bottom right here cut it out but don't throw that away because we can spray paint it uh to look like a tree for this christmas season next i took it outside and i spray painted it with some just some cheap spray paint from walmart then i brought it back in and i got started on these tires now let me tell you this is where i started to trash this whole diy and give up on it these tires, as I began painting them, they looked like a kindergartner was painting in these tires. I have seen DIYers here on YouTube paint in tires for years now, and they all have made it look so easy. But as I was doing it, each tire that I'd done, it was just looking horrible. But I kept pressing my way through it, trying to give myself some grace and trying to encourage myself because... That's what I'm here to do is to encourage you. Um, I'm a new crafter. I have been since three weeks ago when I started this YouTube channel. And I'm here to encourage you. And I'm thinking to myself as I'm doing these tires, how can I encourage you if I can't even encourage myself? And so I have learned in these past three weeks to step out of my comfort zone instead of just giving up so easy to keep pressing my way through it. So I tried several different paint brushes and then I also thinned out my paint with just a little bit of water and that made the paint glide just a little bit better. And then I just kept pressing my way through and, um, and then uh, as I got to the other side, it did start getting a little bit easier. And they still didn't turn out perfect, but I was able to straighten them out a little bit with a permanent marker after, a black permanent marker after the paint dried. And then we just painted the front too. Next, we took some Waverly chalk paint in antique wax and painted the back rails of the truck. And I gave both sides two good coats so it would be a good dark brown but in the end you can't even see the rails because of the moss and the foam i done an overkill on it and you'll see what i'm talking about here in a minute if you are a returning subscriber i want you to know that i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart if you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join our little community community that we have going here. I hope you decide to stick around and join us for a while. Here I'm taking my spatula from the Dollar Tree and totally doing an overkill on this floral moss and with the hot glue. You don't need this much floral moss and you don't need that much glue. In the end, it was so hard to get my florals to stick in because it wasn't going through all that glue. And then the floor, the styrofoam ball, I thought it would give height to my flowers. And that wasn't needed either. It all worked out in the end, but it was totally overkill here. And then I give it all a haircut. And then that pick there was from the Dollar Tree. And this pick was from Hobby Lobby for $2.99. Half price was $1.50. That is $0.25 cent more than the Dollar Tree, y'all. And it's such high quality. And you get so many different textures in there. And it's, it's beautiful. And that one in my hand now is from Walmart off of a garland that I got last year. And then this pick here from the Dollar Tree has got four picks. Now, if you cut those uh, four picks off of it and then cut them in half like you 
will see me do here in just a second, it will go further. And then you can spread them out more. Like that. I'm telling you like I know what I'm doing here, but I totally don't. I am not a florist. I heard the Crafting Cousins um, on their YouTube channel. They say uh, it's called Poking Posies, and that's exactly what I do. I poke posies all day long until it makes my eyes happy. I know nothing about floral design. I just keep poking, poking, poking till my eyes is happy. I made three floral arrangements for my family's cemetery plot um, several weeks ago, and it literally took me a week to make three floral arrangements. And I'm talking about hours upon hours every day for a solid week to make those three arrangements. And when I say I have OCD, I kid you not. Mine ain't just has to have everything perfect, but it's so bad that it's hard for me to even get anything accomplished because I'm striving for, for perfection. But I'm trying so hard to let that go since I've started this YouTube journey. Gotta just learn to let it go. And this flower arrangement this in the back of this truck took me all day long. I kid you not. But I'm growing along with this YouTube journey. So I'm glad that I stepped out of fear and started this YouTube channel. So I'm growing with y'all. I'm a new crafter and I'm enjoying the journey with y'all and I hope y'all are too. I'm going to show y'all this poinsettias. They came from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going to show y'all how to fix them. If you pick some up and they're all wrinkled. I'm going to show y'all a little trick if you don't already know it yet. And you see how I'm struggling to get that flower in there? It's from all that moss and the hot glue that I used. And y'all, as... At the time of this voiceover, my first video has 927 views. And I want to thank y'all from the very bottom of my heart for uh, watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, if you subscribed, or if you shared it. Um, y'all sure know how to make a girl's heart smile. Um, I appreciate it very, very much. And um, never in a million years did I ever expect it to go that far in seven days um and to show y'all how much i appreciate y'all i do want to start doing some giveaways um and my craft room looks like the dollar tree threw up in here so uh i have plenty of stuff to do giveaways with i even have a couple iod products that i can do giveaways with and so we'll get that going pretty quick. And then all the stuff that I'm crafting, it's got to go somewhere. So I got to figure out how I can ship that out to y'all for giveaways. And so uh, y'all keep spreading the love for me. And I thank y'all for you alls support. If you're returning, thank you. If you're new, welcome. And I hope you consider staying, sticking around with us as we grow here. And um. I just I appreciate all of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And um, anyway, I just keep poking posies here, y'all. And the end result, I don't love it, but I like it. All right, right here, take your heating gun. See how wrinkled it is? Take your blow dryer or your heating gun and turn it on low and heat up that plastic on the back of that flower. And then once you get it heated up, then flip it over and start heating it up on the top. And it'll lay right on down. See, watch it. Ta-da! And when you're doing a flower arrangement, I've heard a couple people say that you need a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. So, for like, for an example, the thriller would be the poinsettias. 
in this flower arrangement. And the filler would be like, say that piece that I'm using right there and all the little greenery sprigs that I'm using. And then I'm not really sure what my spiller would be in this one. I don't really think I have it, but it would be like your vines and stuff in your summer arrangements. But there it is, y'all. I, I hope y'all like it. Like I said, I like it, but I don't love it. That's an IOD stamp snowflake. And as I was taking these pictures, I realized that the poinsettias didn't look that good on this side. Um, so I took a red snowflake, painted it, and put it on the other side. And you can see the poinsettia is better. And I like this angle better. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. And I hope y'all come back. And y'all have a very blessed week now.